that was fun. Yeah, no, th- this this turned out to be a pretty good um, pretty good post um, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Pretty good. For a second there, I thought you were going to say pretty good, good pod. Post. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got. I thought. I thought for a second you said post shit, and I was like, "You're poor." <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're poor, poor, backed up colon. <laughs> that man. Wait, what? I didn't hear anything. You they poor, just... your poor, poor, inflated rectum. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I was—I guess I was just hearing the uh, echo from the Twitch. Fuck. Wait, does his rectum <laughs> being, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, one of those inflatable tube things? Oh God! Mikey waving the inflatable farm waving tube man. <laughs> you sounded so robotic coming out of that. <laughs> Hello, good sir. I am typical white man. <laughs> Would you like to go have a nice coffee in the morning and then go to our 401k job? Would you like to buy a basketball game? <laughs> yes, I am real man. Would you like to go skateboards? <laughs> Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> Hello, fellow. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> Hello, I too like the twilight sparkles and the sunsets. <laughs> I am government man. The government sent me. <laughs> I am government man. Come from the government. The government has sent me. What the fuck are we doing right now? What the hell? We're just having fun. Like, seriously, I mean. <laughs> well, I'm been the fun, fun for a while now. <laughs> I don't know what you guys have been doing. <laughs> to do what you're doing. <laughs> you're the fun police. I'm the fun police. No fun. Are you here. being a fun Nazi? I'm oh God! A fun Nazi now. A funzy. Oh, a funzy. It's like a onesie, but fun. Oh no! This is Wolfhead right now. Just give it a second. Um. <laughs> 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 Chat, no fun. You can't have any fun. Or else I'll dox all of them. Oh, here's something to talk about. Uh, Joey, since you're a fan of uh, Mighty Magiswords, <laughs> what's your favorite Magisword? Sorry, could you say again? Like, I literally didn't catch any of that. What's Did your I... favorite Magisword? Yeah. Why do you? Why don't you ask me what my favorite molecule what? of air is? <laughs> <laughs> my f- okay, favorite no. molecule of air. That's uh. Okay, my favorite Aaron Magisword would have to be Zombie Pumpkin Magisword! Oh, the Zombie classic one. Magisword. Oh, Derek the Brony suggesting that I, um, if I have a powerhouse computer, he'd like to see me do, um, play Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, you could do that, and you can play Payday 2 with some of us, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I like. I Okay, I can play 3D games on this computer. I can't stream it, though. It'll lag too much. That's what I mean when you get a powerhouse. Yeah, I know. Like, I can play pay, uh, Payday, I can play uh, Left 4 Dead, um, and other 3D-based games. Like, I can just play it. Um, there are some hey, 3D games that yeah. were, like, very, very low in its frame rate, and uh, one of which is supposed to be based off of, like, some kind of, like, a series of horror monsters or some shit like that. And um, Oh, and it's uh, um, Dead by Daylight or something? Yeah, that's what it was. Like, Master Code introduced me to it and everything. Like, I was playing that with him and Deckard Spade, but unfortunately, like, I just kept, like, I kept lagging too much. I'm like, it was somewhat playable, but I couldn't tolerate it. But no, for some odd reason, I was able to play Lead for Dead 2 without a sweat. I mean, honestly, if you get a powerhouse, that would solve a lot of your problems with that. It, it is on my goal. Uh, there's other things that I still have to take care of financially. Like, I gotta make sure... Uh, I mean, understandable. It's not of course. exactly cheap to build a powerhouse computer. No, it costs at least a thousand dollars to, like, get a custom built. Yeah, I mean, if you want to... Especially for editing, you're gonna want is, like... You want, uh, like, at least four... And you want the RAM to be especially high. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good investment if you can get it. Oh, absolutely. 
see. I saw the streamers play it. I'm reading the, the, the chat at the moment. See, I play Rainbow Six. I played a little bit of Rainbow Six, and it's a frustrating game because it has a realistic uh, health meter that if you get shot, you got to make sure you find cover because otherwise the next shot you could be dead instantly. <sighs> and it's frustrating. I'm like, God damn it. Cover shooters have always frustrated me. There is, a sh like, obviously, like, out of all those, like, it's a part of the whole, like, genre, uh, not genre, but the era during the 2000s, but they had those mass uh, shooter games like Call of Duty and Halo. One of my personal favorites was Gears of War. Oh, I can't wait for Halo Reach to be on PC. I need my <laughs> reach, man. I need my reach. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to reach, uh, need your reach. What? Think about it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the Forge mode back, man. It has the best multiplayer and the best for <laughs> Forge mode of any Halo game. Fight me. At some point, like, if I ever do get a capture card and I have a powerhouse computer, and hopefully if this will work, um... I can like I will definitely I would definitely love to stream the uh, first three Gears games because now there's like a fourth and fifth now, but yeah, fifth comes out in like a couple. If if I'm able to connect the, the uh, like connect to a server still and like play games with the Aeon, I could imagine we would do like rounds of Horde. Oh, you could also play Splitgate too. That would be. Oh right yeah. Back. What are we talking about? We're talking about shooter uh, popular shooter titles. Ooh. Like Halo yeah. and Gears of War. I was just telling about Splitgate, which is basically Halo, but with... Yeah, just... like, I, actually, did you try that game? Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, it, it can be feel basic at times, but it's pretty fun. Yeah. Especially with your friends. This game's available on Steam, right? Yep, free to play. Free to play. Is it still free? Yeah, as far huh. as I know. So it's like with TF2. Like, it's a game that you could just download without, you know, having to pay yeah. for it. Huh, interesting. Basically. You know, I would love to try that out. I could imagine there would be some moments where, like, let's say Solar... Like, did Solar actually try it? Like, how does he feel about it? Oh, yeah, he likes it. Oh, okay. Um, that'll yeah, definitely be, I like... I played with him a few times. Yeah, you know, because uh, I remember him saying that he wanted to stream again. And if he ever goes to, like, stream one of those games again, I think it would be fun if we did, like... He would stream and we would just play with him. And, it, you know, he would be... Because... Fuck, he's fucking solar. Anything he says is fucking gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. But, yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I will I definitely want to try this game out, you know. Yeah, it would be interesting to see. It still sucks about what happened to DuckTales, though. You heard about that? No, what happened? What they happened? pulled all the remakes for the DuckTales off of, like, everything. They all pulled digital. it all off? What? Yep. About a month ago, they were pulling all of uh, DuckTales Remastered from every single, like, digital store. Oh! Why? I, thought you were I don't I thought know. Okay, I thought you were going to say they canceled the reboot. And I was like, what? No, no, no. I was going to no, like, fucking say. I would like, have a heart attack no, of that shit. No, I would, I, I would I just, like, I would that. just be like, goodbye, cruel world, and just hang myself. <laughs> and they're just about to introduce Goofy, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they pull two. all of the uh, DuckTales remastered game from 2013 from every single digital store, store shelf. Uh, yeah, there at least <laughs> no reason given. And the, and the sad thing about that, too, that was Alan Young and June Foray's last role. Yeah, like, okay, at least there are physical copies for the Wii U still, right? Yeah, there's still physical copies, but it's gonna it's... be hard to come by. <sighs> And people wonder why people pirate games because there's actually ways to keep some of these games around. Yeah, because there's still some like there's some underrated gym games, like underrated SNES gems that you know, if you look hard enough, you can find some legit good games. Like I I'll just give a few examples here cuz you won't be able to find them in the freaking um what is it called? They had their own there was like Nintendo once had an eShop. It's probably not around anymore. Um, yeah, the one from Wii. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Virtual Console. That's what it was. Um, oh, the, that's yeah, still on the Wii U in the fam. 3DS. Yeah, uh, I remember that there was some under uh, underrated titles that some people are playing. Like one of which I think is called Terranigma, which is a popular RPG that was from Japan. 
Um, there's also a game that I love to uh, would love to own because it's also you. Um, it was released in the U.S., but it was such a flop that it's expensive as hell online. It's called Demon's Crest, and it was mm. a oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's, a, it's an individual spin on the Ghost and Goblin series. You know, the one where you have that knight and you turn into a skeleton. It's hard as fuck. Yeah, like Demon's, that game. Ugh. Demon's Crest. Wouldn't wish that game upon my enemies. Okay, so with Demon's Crest, it's a it's almost a completely different platformer. Um, imagine, imagine Legend of Zelda two, but much more rewarding to play. It's hard as balls. Don't get me wrong. And you could take multiple hits, but you could still get your ass kicked. So basically, what people say about Dark Souls, where it's hard as hell, but it is rewarding. Oh, Jesus. I, I've heard a lot of people make comparisons of Dark Souls. Like, they've compared Cuphead to Dark Souls and, like, other hard titles of Dark Souls. I'm like, Don't you know, man? Everything's Dark Souls. It's just... Look, just say that it's hard as balls, okay? Just say that it's really fucking hard. You don't need to compare it to another <laughs> title. If anything, well, I like could... like how every scandal has to have gay at the end of... You know, like... I'm not gonna, like, get my hopes up, but if I play Dark Souls and if I get through it with, like, out of sweat... Then I'll just be like, okay, um, Ghost of Goblins is still harder. And I say that with a grain of salt. So I'm not gonna, I'm not being legit about it. I have yet to play Dark Souls. I do but hear if it's. If every game was Dark Souls, then no game is Dark Souls. Exactly. Yeah. I will, I will give you this. Cuphead, it's hard as balls. Like, I'm still, like, practicing a couple of, like, stages. Like, there was like there was some fun like times when me and Keyframe were playing together on that game, and there was the latest that we got to was that I finally conquered that goddamn dragon. Mm. And like I don't know if anybody was there when it happened, but I was I was at the screen like yeah fuck you. I was so <laughs> relieved to finally kick his ass and beat him. But, like, I'm still taking care of that B character. There's, like, other characters that I have to take on. Some people said that they're much harder villains in, uh, in the later run. And... Well, like, I played uh, Ow, the demo shit. for that game back in... <laughs> Dude, like, are you deep throwing your mic? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I played that game back in 2016 at uh, PAX East. And that was, like, two years before it was actually released. And it... Uh, I played that with somebody else, and we could barely get past two bosses in that game because they just did a big boss rush uh, demo, and it was hard as fuck. Uh, Odinoka remembers. You two saved each other like six times in the last... Yeah, no, we were like working together like, oh shit, you're dead, hang on. Because we both needed each other. It was like, even with the, the little homing device thing, um, uh, what is it called, the trackers or something uh, like that? Morty. <laughs> <laughs> But no, saying. um, but just like even with uh, those those follower things, those homing uh, projectiles, it's still hard. You had to be mindful of those goddamn fireballs. Like that's that was what ruined it for me. I want to get it on Switch now because I, I feel like I'll play more of that game now. It's on Switch. I've noticed that a lot of Steam games have been ported to the Switch. Like aside from Cuphead or maybe even Ducktales Remastered, I um I just I found out that Freedom Planet also had a port to the Switch. I don't know how good it is. I don't know how good the sequel is. I still have yet to play that, but I played the first um, Freedom Planet on Steam, and I have yet to stream it, and it's a lot of fun. I'm te I'm I'm Go really tempted to get a Switch, but I don't know. But I don't know what I would where I would put it or what to do with it. I want to get a Switch as well, but I I still have yet to actually get a physical copy. You know, get a get the newer model has a better battery. Okay, um, but like that shit, it's like three hundred bucks or something. That's still pretty cheap in comparison to like other consoles. Is it three hundred dollars? I think I got my Switch for cheaper at I, GameStop. I think it all depends. But the fact that it's portable too, that's kind of what makes its appeal. Makes it more that's valuable. Only yeah. That's only slightly it... less than I pay for rent. Yeah. Um oh yeah, that's right, Smash Brothers Ultimate. But yeah, no, um uh, I would love to get it um a Nintendo Switch at one point. Because it'd be fun to play that, um, the recent Mario Maker and uh Super Mario Odyssey. I played a little oh, bit of Mario Odyssey. Odyssey is so much fun. I remember when I got to play a little bit of it once, and at one point I discovered that you can actually possess a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, that was so <laughs> satisfying. Yeah. yeah, that part is fun. Like, it was honestly a return to form 3D platformers for Mario. Like, yeah, like... Since I, that I hadn't seen since, like, Sunshine. 
Oh yes, uh, Derek the Brony. I will not forget Breath of the Wild. I hope it's like it's, I hope it's I hope it's simple to play through because it's pretty simple to play through. Honestly, it's I think it's, it's kind very of very open worldy and doesn't hold your hand at all. So you got to yeah. figure some shit out. Oh god, fucking rain! You will come to hate rain so much. Okay, noted. <laughs> so goddamn much. Don't forget Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see, Spyro Grand Prix. This is, is awesome. the part of the stream where where the whole chat just pitches games to Golden. <laughs> to, ooh, stream this game, stream that game. It's like, well, okay. As much as I would like, okay, I, I think they're more of recommending what games to play on the Switch compared to streaming <laughs> it. But oh, what the fuck was that? I didn't understand a single word of that. <laughs> Nothing. I was totally not playing Cybermax, trying to like persuade you to do playing Cybermax. You like, sounded you sounded like that announcer who says John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> I was trying to do the subtle play Cybermax thing. I was trying to pre trying to hypnotize you with subtle marketing. <laughs> subtle as a wooden mallet. <laughs> And subtle is a fucking earthquake. I don't know how to do subtle except when I'm talking about people I hate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if Golden gets like an actual like PC that can play video games, I would gift him so many games, but all the games would be and he wouldn't know what to do with them. Wait, oh, you yeah, you cut that have up you there. Played... Yeah, until Wait. I can get... Until I can get a T TV for myself that I can hook my Wii and my PS2 up, I kind of have to only play PC games. Horizon Chase Turbo. I'll have to look that up. Was it Brony kind of told him? Oh, that's right. I, I think I remember. Were you, Neon Blade, were you the one who came and asked me to autograph uh, during TF2? Because I remember you, I, somebody mentioned me a title, and I'm like, fuck, I already forgot what it was. Um, and I thought I got it on film, like I got it on camera, like I didn't use it for the vlog, but I would have to look that up. Okay, now I remember. Okay, so Neon Blade is already catching up on it. Um, I'll have to look that up. Horizon Chase Turbo. Okay. This is why you are not spy on TF2 an Anarchy. <laughs> okay, I don't care about being the fucking spy. I, think they were I like I to think shoot they were shit from a distance. I, th I think they were talking to me. I, I, think, I think he hit a nerve. <laughs> Golden got so mad. <laughs> they were talking about Joey because he blows shit up. Oh, so he's Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Not to talk about TF2 too much, but my favorite, like, recent bit that they've ever done in TF2 is when ANY is doing love from Keyframe because he's a changeling, and then Golden is right behind him and he shoots him point blank range in the fucking chest with the sniper rifle. <laughs> Brutality. <laughs> Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I've got one of the Bloodstained games. Oh, I don't know how many there are. That, I've heard so many good things about Bloodstained. Like, I have still have yet to play Bloodstained, uh, Shovel Knight. Like, is there more than one title of Shovel Knight? Uh, oh, so far, Shovel there's only Knight. the one. It's just insanely popular. Yeah, okay, so I do have Shovel Knight. Um, I was at some point going to stream it, but it was lagging like shit for some reason. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I've also tried. That's so weird, it's an 8-bit game. Yeah, no, I've tried streaming the uh, the Ducktales uh, remastered, and it like it was just unplayable. Same thing with other titles. Um, let's see, uh. Golf with Your Friends. If I ever get a powerhouse computer, that would be fun to stream. That is a fun. Game Everyone to play would be trying friends. to knock you off the course. I mean, that's that's what yeah. some people love to do, and it's just like, you know, it's... yes, some people like to do that. I'm it's... a bit of a right. I'm a bit of a rageaholic when it comes to gun. <laughs> I've noticed. Go in the flopping hole! Get in that flopping hole! It's your fault! It's a hole! Can you not see the hole? Go! Go in the hole! Go! Go! Okay, oh, so you're holding back one. tonight. Yay, Jasper! Jesus. <laughs> see. Will Harmony Dancer be in the TF2 series mode? We, I am not going to answer that. The answer is... Yeah. Just tell them lies. You fucking cut lies. out when you answered. Tell me <laughs> lies, I, Tim. I said, let's lies. say yes, and let's just lie to them. 
<laughs> the, an- the the answer is it's up to her and it's up to Doc and Josh. Not yeah. to you, not anyone else. Yeah, we're not going to go into too much. That's the real. Yeah, we're not going to go into too much specifics there. Mm. Oh, uh, oh wait. What are you I- drinking? Oh. Oh wait. She- Apple cider beer. Well, well first mm. of all, I'm drinking ginger ale. Like, oh wait, he meant more. As in, I thought he was talking about. Uh, well, it all depends. Who actually gets on the, gets on the team? If anyone quits, that's up to Doc and Josh. Yep. Wrenches. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time <laughs> I wrap it up. Um, I've got nature calling, and I think we've uh, got to go take a long. I mean, piss. how long have we been streaming now? Over two and a half hours. Oh wow! Yeah, we probably yeah. should wrap that up. Yeah, I kind of, ha- I kind of have some have some things I need to get back to soon. All right, so um, I'll catch you guys once again this coming Friday when I start Freedom Planet. And fi- I'm crossing my fingers hoping that it plays good. It used to play well before. Maybe it was just a bad uh, service or something. Either way, I'll catch you then. Um, I hope you enjoyed this post show as well as the actual podcast. Um, and, you know, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Peace, be- Peace out. Peace be with y'all. Yep.